Hi there students, welcome back. We are having an exciting time here on minimal spanning trees in the network concepts realm and we just had a look at Prim's algorithm to, for finding the uh, shortest route around a network diagram, uh, a minimal spanning tree it's called, and now we're going to have a look at a different version and I'm not sure of the pronunciation but I'm going to call it Kruskal, Kruskal's algorithm and see if that's a slightly different method but I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the same diagram and see if we get the same result here to uh, try and figure out a minimal spanning tree distance. Okay, Chris Gould's, Chris Gould's algorithm is a set of rules to find a minimal spanning tree for a graph. We had prims before, now we've got Chris Gould's. Sounds like a Chris Kringle spoken by a New Zealander. Choose the shortest edge. So there's only a slight difference in method here. I'm going to choose the next shortest edge. Choose the next shortest edge that doesn't create a little cycle. And we're going to repeat. So let's have a look at an example. It works best. Okay. Choose the shortest edge. Now you can have a look at uh, this diagram and you can see that there are two shortest edges. So it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to choose. So let's have a look as the school bell goes. We'll get this in here. Okay. We're going to choose one of the fives there. Now we're going to choose the next shortest edge. Now unlike the prims, we don't have to have it connected to our previous red diagram here. So our next shortest edge, actually equally shortest, is our 5 over there. We're going to keep um, creating shortest next ones. So the next one shortest is a 6. The next one shortest is a 7. Didn't, didn't matter which 7 I chose. Uh, the next shortest one on the whole diagram is a 7. And we're going to keep choosing that until we've ticked off every vertex. Now we're actually uh, almost there. We've just kept choosing shortest edges um, and filling them in until they're all connected and really we only have to have G to go so we've actually ticked off the same vertices as we did in the prims so when we have a look at the minimal spanning tree length here and add up those distances we lo and behold blow me down cut off my legs and call me shorty we've got the same result here 39 units long the minimal spanning tree length so that's the shortest possible route that goes to each of the vertexes all the vert each of the vertices I should say. So there you have it, Kruskal's algorithm. We've got Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithms, two different methods to find either minimal spanning trees. And we're going on soon to have a look at problems uh, whereby you can uh, realize that finding the shortest route between items can save you a lot of money. We'll look forward to that. Thanks for listening. See you next time, customers.